Founded in 2003, Android Inc. in the early days began as an operating system for digital cameras. Due to a market for them, the Android Inc. team's intention slowly diverted to mobile devices, becoming the rivals of then Symbian and Windows Mobile. Acquired by Google in 2005, the development team worked on an operating system based on Linux kernel and shadows until the unveiled Open Handset Alliance in 2007. By Google, Android is described officially as an open source Linux based software stack created for a wide array of devices and form factors. The graphical user interface environment, middleware, libraries, APIs, sitting on top of Linux kernel and shell binaries of software stack layers that make the bulk of Android and which makes it much more than a variation of a Linux system. Android's kernel is based on the long term support, LTS, branches of the Linux kernel. The kernel provides drivers for file system access, process management, hardware, and networking, the Android kernel differs from vanilla Linux kernel due to the differences called as Androidisms. Some of the notable Androidisms added to kernel are IPC binder, Wavelox, low memory killer, Dalvik, Android runtime, anonymous shared memory or Ashman, alarm, paranoid network, RAM console, physical memory or PMEM, sync driver, time output, GPO, memory and logging enhancement. Android utilizes many less popular features in desktop distributions of Linux, such as control or groups, no memory color, daemon, security enhanced Linux, or SEL Linux, and open source projects like a vacuum for VPN, MDNs for network service discovery, and many more. To provide better security, some devices have an Embedded Secure Element, or SE, which is dedicated separate tamper-resistant hardware to store cryptographic data. Android runs on TV, mobile, refrigerator, and almost everywhere that the underlying hardware may greatly differ in its scope and support. To solve this, the Android stack typically relies on shared libraries provided by manufacturers to interact with hardware. Android relies on what can be considered a hardware abstraction layer, or HAL. Although the interface, behaviour and function of abstract hardware components differ greatly from type to type. The idea of GPS, sensor, TV, camera audio, input media components and other components' behaviour is defined by HAL and how it should behave in Android. The vendors are still not allowed to make unnecessary modifications so as to not fail the compatibility test suite. The native libraries layer is responsible for providing support for the core feature. The WebKit Web Rendering Engine Audio Manager, Libka, Se e Secure Sockets layer, SSL, fully type for rendering fonts, media, open, open GLES, graphics API, SQ Lite database, and Surface Manager. Before Android 4.4, each Android app would run it on its own virtual machine, which is called Dalvik, which got superseded by the Android runtime art. In the Android 4.4, along with Dalvik, Google experimentally introduced a new Android runtime called Art, which still today remains the standard. Art introduces ahead of time AOT compilation, which can improve app performance. Apps run and launch faster on Art than Dalvik because DEX bytecode gets translated into machine code during installation, which means no compilation during runtime, and thus seemingly faster. Because Dalvik requires extra money for just-in-time code cache, an app occupies a smaller memory footprint when it runs on R. The Android application creation process is provided by application frameworks or libraries, which allows developers to use the higher-level Kotlin or Java language, rather than lower-level C++.
blocks. The framework includes the basic blocks for building Android applications, such as Content Provider, Activity Manager, Location Manager, View System, Package Manager, Notification Manager, Research Manager, Telephony Manager, and Window Manager. Android frameworks are divided into separate namespace using the Java package naming and according to their functionality. Packages in the Android namespace is available for use by developers. Packages in com.android are internal. Android also supports most of the standard Java runtime packages in the Java namespace. The top post layer in the Android stack is the applications layer, which can be categorized into systems, apps, and user installed apps. System apps cannot be uninstalled or changed by users and are read only in production devices. System apps are included in the OS image mounted as slash system. User installed apps can be uninstalled at will. Each application lives in a dedicated security sandbox and cannot affect other applications or access their data. User installed apps are installed on a dedicated read write partition mounted as slash data that hosts user data. Uh, shit comes outside, sees giant moth, and then she's like, oh shit, it's a giant moth.